Flexitarian, ever heard of that word? If you're interested in nutrition and you'd like to eat a more plant-centric or plant-focused diet, then you might have heard that word. That's what I'm gonna be talking about today. <laughs> hey there, I'm Neely with Neely on Nutrition, registered dietitian nutritionist and a certified health coach helping women develop a healthy relationship with food. People ask me, hey Neely, what kind of a diet do you follow? And I don't think, I've mentioned it on some videos, but really not a whole lot, but that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. And this is not one of those what I eat in a day videos, but if you're interested in me doing a video like that, leave it in the comments and let me know and I'll think about it. I am what is known as a flexitarian. A flex a what? A flexitarian. I think this is the best of all worlds nutrition related. In 2003, the word flexitarian beat out the words asshat and text for the most useful words by the American Dialect Society. Merriam-Webster defines flexitarian as one whose normally meatless diet occasionally includes meat or fish. So it combines the words flexible with vegetarian. Makes sense, right? Decades ago, back in my dieting days, I decided to be a vegetarian. Not that I was necessarily so concerned about the environment or my health. It was really a way for me to restrict so I wouldn't have to eat certain foods. Like, oh no, no thank you, I don't eat meat. I've since relaxed my eating habits a whole lot. I totally respect those who choose a vegan um, way of eating, no animal products whatsoever, but for me, it is just too restrictive. Occasionally, I just like to have a juicy burger or a steak, or like I made my mom for Mother's Day, some bacon. But they're rarely foods that are in my, in my diet. And I just love plant-based foods, produce, and um, whole grains. So nutritious. On the other hand, you've got the keto tribe, it's very high fat, and then also like the high protein tribe, who is more high protein, and they limit the amount of nutrient-rich foods, such as fruits and vegetables and whole grains, because plants are carbohydrates. And here's the thing, and I've said many times before, there is no one perfect way. You are unique, I am unique, I am uniquely Neely. I'll be talking more about flexitarian style of eating in upcoming videos, but I just wanted to give you a little snapshot. Um, I did a video, Best Diets of 2021. Every year, US News and World Report ranks all of the diets. This year, I think there were like 39. And um, you can see that um, video up here. And the flexitarian diet, it ranked in the top three for best overall, best for diabetes, best for weight loss, easiest to follow, best for plant-based, and best for healthy eating. I mean, how crazy is that? And you might not even have known of the word flexitarian. What I love so much about it is that it's got the best of all worlds. It's mostly plant-based, but if you have an occasion to want to eat animal products, you can because it's flexible. Make sure you watch these videos. And in this one here, I talk about the three ingredients for healthy eating and um, the top three best diets. One of them, of course, is the flexitarian, but you can watch what the other two are. Thanks for watching Neely on Nutrition. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.